Okay, so this event took place about four years ago. And um, in the summer of, I think it was 2003, my dad had to uh, go down to Chicago. He actually had to have brain surgery. He was kind of losing his balance a little bit and the pressure was building up on his brain, so they decided to do brain surgery. And so my mom and dad went down to the medical center in Chicago and um, you know everything was going good. I mean, there was a lot of recovery time and stuff. And so my sister, who lives outside of Chicago, called and she said, you know, Rita, you, can you help me out a little bit? Every day, Mom's taking the train into Chicago and back, and she had some kids of her own, so she said, you know, can you come on down and help out? And I said, not a problem. I'll come down. I'll actually treat Mom. Our Mom will stay at a hotel downtown Chicago, because I didn't want to take the train back and forth like my mom was doing. Not a problem. School hadn't started at all. So I went down there, we picked up my mom um, on the outskirts of Chicago, and we went downtown Chicago, and we went to see my dad. He was recovering nicely from his brain surgery, and we even took him out to eat that night. Um, we wheeled him, I think we went to the ESPN Sports Zone, and wheeled him around, and uh, took him back to the medical center that night. Everything was going great. And we were sitting around visiting. Um, my mom and uh, my husband and I were all in one hotel. And you guys know what a typical standard hotel room looks like. There's usually like two queen beds or two double beds. Well, I was in one bed and my mom was in the other bed. And so to make my mom feel comfortable, I had my husband sleep on the floor on an air mattress and stuff, which I thought was okay. So, you know, mom first for comfort level. And during the night, um, you know, we went to bed, I don't know, maybe 11, 12 at night. During the night, my mom kind of woke up and she said, Rita, Rita, quit the quit touching my feet. Oh, quit, quit touching my feet, Rita. And I was, you know, I was pretty sound asleep and I'm like, oh, what's going on? And I don't know my mom <laughs> talked in her sleep and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, another five minutes goes by, Rita, oh, Rita, I think Craig might be over here. And I'm like, oh my God, what, what is going on, you know? And so I, I kind of look over here and I'm like, Craig, and he always sleeps like this. He's like, huh? And I'm like, oh, forget it. Then my mom is just, you know, whatever. So a few more minutes go by and she's like, I do not need those covers on my feet. Please take those covers off. And I'm like, oh, geez, you know, maybe it was the, maybe it was the trauma from, you know, the surgery and the emotions all week. And so, you know, I didn't think anything of it. And then she said one more time, she's, she's like, Rita, I really need your help. I think you should come, you know, and she was kind of mumbling. And so I turn over and there's that lamp, there's that standard lamp in between the two beds of the hotel and I turn on the lamp. And I'm like, Mom, what is going on? And she's, she's in bed lying down, and she sits up in bed. She's like, well, Rita, and this man sits up behind her. And I'm like, oh, my God, there is a man in your bed. And I was jumping up and down on my bed, and I was like, I was like doing kung fu and stuff. I'm like, oh, where are you from? Where are you from? And the guy gets up, and the only thing he had on was his boxer shorts. So he gets out of bed and he's like this, and I had him cornered like that. And I says to my husband, Craig, get up and do something. And I had the guy cornered so much, my, my husband says, let the guy go, let the guy go. And he was standing like this, <laughs> going into the, the corner. And I'm like, no, we don't know where he is. I mean, he was actually underneath the sheets with my mom the whole night. <laughs> and so, so he finally, we, the guy finally escapes and he runs out just with his boxer shorts on, that's all. And uh, I, I was really nervous, and I called hotel security, and I'm like, yeah, you'll never guess what happened. I said, this man was under the sheets with my mom, and she's like 70. you got to get up here. So two kind of rent-a-cop type people come up like that, and they open the door, and they come in, and, you know, they look at a third bed on the floor. I go, I know, I know, we're not supposed to have three people sleeping in this bed. We're sleeping in this room. Because it was, uh, it was right off Michigan Ave, downtown Chicago, in a really nice hotel. And I'm like, I know, I know, but really there was a man that was, you know, in bed with my mom. And so they went back and looked at the security camera, and sure enough, they saw the guy come, go into the room and exit the room and things like that. So when I went down to talk to hotel management, the gentleman down there told me um, that the, the clerk at the desk, the guy must have been kind of drunk, and I mean, that's what we suspect left his room, couldn't get back in, went down and asked for a key to be made, and they actually made a key for our room. So oh, he just went in like that, he crawled in bed, he was in bed with my mom, probably two or three hours that night at least. And he, my, mom, my mom kept saying he was all nestled up to her going <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh! Isn't that the most bizarre thing? <laughs> and uh, 
I have a letter here that I actually wrote this hotel then, you know, shortly after, because it was pretty a dramatic experience. I mean, can you imagine if, if that had been any of you guys in a hotel room and your parents and stuff? So I wrote the, this hotel a letter, and about three months later, I got a call from a, a, a law firm out in Seattle, and it was the reps for the company, and they were offering me 10 free rooms. In the letter, I asked for 10 free hotel rooms. And they offered me 10, 10 rooms, and so that Thanksgiving, I invited everybody down for Thanksgiving, and we stayed at this hotel in Madison, and we just had a really good time kind of revisiting the story and everything like that. So that's the story.